Okay, what is up everyone? Good morning. Here we are another beautiful day in paradise as you can see Sun is shining Blue skies Little nice temperature. It's a little hot out, but around 80 degrees Maybe a little more But first line of business we got today. I'm going to be bringing one of the racks that we don't use out of the shed and putting it out for someone to buy from Facebook Marketplace and then we're going to be heading out to basically Little Egg Harbor Mystic Island area to go to two garage sales to hunt down some treasure see if we can find anything and then maybe we're gonna check out the Manahawk and Flea Market which we've never been to don't even know if it exists really um, but I looked it up online I've been by it one other time years ago but didn't stop and see what's going on with that so hopefully there's vendors out we really don't know so gonna go pick a little but I gotta get deep in here <sighs> wild I gotta just start unloading this stuff into the trailer I guess Doll, you never show me nothing but kindness She would say, I know how sad you get And some days I still get that way But it gets better, it gets better, it gets better This is part of the job description that They don't tell you about Living the dream Still have to pick up this giant 300 pound press I like my Coca Colas. They're in here. I'm just trying to get this. I can just put it in the garage. It might weigh almost as much as me. <laughs> Watch your toes. So, basically what we got going here is Alright, got some morning claims here. This wraparound metal thing selling as parts on Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. The pickup is pending right now. And then we got this rack that we got from our friend. Uh, we don't need so many racks. We have like 10 of these and we're selling this one also on Facebook Marketplace. So the dream. All right, sales are good today. This piece in the back is a bike rack that goes in a garage or a shed and it tightens to the top and bottom. Um, someone wants to buy it, but it's gonna be a delivery on the way if they answer again. Otherwise, it might just stay in the car. But he said he definitely wants it. FaceTiming with Aaron from the Philippines right now. He's showing us all his shoes claims that he just got. It's hard to see because it's all the way across the world, but it's crazy how many people are into this picker thing. This is a worldwide movement. This isn't just like one state, one province. Like, this is international. So. Oh. I can't really talk to him because I'm driving right now, but I'll call him back later. I just wanted to do the shout out. Okay. All right, dude. I gotta call you back. Hey. I'm, yeah. I'm driving. All right. Okay. What's the claim? What's the claim today? Please. Please. I am going to the Philippines to claim. The boy, dude. Over the field. All right, so we were gonna go to Manhawken today, and then we drove a little ways and realized it was just too far. And the other, like, it was like an hour and ten minutes on a chance that there might not even be anything there going on. So we're just gonna check out 
This is a local place. We haven't been here in like eight months, probably. Um, right here in Galloway, so. We're gonna give this a look-see and then head back home. But I have a few items in my head that I'm looking for, so. Let's see if they have anything real quick. It's really hot out, too. It's not. The air in the truck is brutal. It's heavy, to say the least. But this is a nice spot. It's like a giant warehouse, yeah, of just claims forever. It's kind of like my style, like just pile up stuff that they get from clean outs and then see if it sells and then scrap it later. They do have a cat, too. How are you, sir? Alright, how are you? Good. There's some pick in here. I have no doubt about that, in my mind. That's a nice set there. See what they're pricing it at. 85. So I've sold a set like exactly similar for less, but still, it's a pretty good deal. Got some clothes in here, vintage shirts. Wow, it's pretty cool, actually. If that was a bigger size, that would be a, life's a bitch, and then you graduate. If it just said life's a bitch, it'd be kind of cool. Damn. What's up with that sweatshirt, though? These are kind of so sick too, actually. Kathy's Clowns, Atlantic City. I don't know, I'm kind of liking those. Some straight up gold in here already. Not even gonna lie. They did separate the vintage claims over here. Look at this thing. Paper mache Miss Piggy mask, 25. Not even that much. Not even expensive, honestly. This is just so deep in here. It goes so hardcore. Look at this. It's just plastic, this one. A lot of them are using glass. Plastic ain't bad, though. Virtual machine. There's a cool sign there. 
must be pretty nice. I gotta get into the other side of these vintage claims though. Like what is up with these? Two sporting goods, that store went out of biz. Let's see what we got here. Heinlein Wildcats. Bobcats, stop. Gonna look through this little rack right here. Dude. Yo. What is up with that though? Do they, they don't have a bathroom in here either. Do they not in the main building? Well, it says that they have like septic issues or something. Which is probably true, honestly. That's all right, because there's a wall already there I could go to, right? Yeah. You didn't find anything in there? No, it's like a really jewelry. I wanted to go in there, though. So and look for something. Huh? Where's your camera? Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. And the other ones I found? Are gold. Yeah, but if this is the price, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it for 13 bucks. But if it's like... Oh, wow. What? This is a really fresh shirt. Alright, we're checking out this other building. which is just filled to the brim with claims. These guys know how to have serious, serious amounts of insanity. So I didn't get any of this on film, but this this older lady that lives like literally across the street from us kind of, like diagonal, she fell and Turner helped her up and I guess she wants to go to her sister's house. Or to her house, I don't know. It's literally right there. Like, our house is right here. You, you shouldn't be walking without help, right? Maybe you need a little cane. Do you have one? No, I don't. Is he in there? Uh, well, nobody's coming to the door. I don't know whether they didn't it. Why not? You need some help? You want to go around to the back? Yeah. All right. Here, if you want to hold on to me. I guess it's, I don't know, 15 years old, silver. Do you want to wait for him here? Or do you want me to drive you back to your house? And wait for him, right? Yeah. All right. One of the many reasons why I love Turner so much is because he's doing something like that. Like, so sweet, love him. All right, I flipped that round metal chair thing, bench, that wrapped around. I'll show you guys a picture for 40 bucks. It was something we were actually debating on scrapping, so we're happy we didn't. And $40, and those people were stoked about it. I actually never delivered this, because the guy left from his house. So I'm leaving this here uh, for potentially later on. You can come pick it up. But 
I am about to roll over to the island and pick up Sammy from the beach, maybe jump in the ocean. But wanted to make a quick claim. All right, I was gonna say, so our friend, me and my brothers, grew up kind of with this kid, Sean, and he was struggling with addiction, and now he's totally sober, living a dream, got a good job, and I got a hat and some stickers for him. I'm proud of the boy, and hopefully he comes by and picks it up. I think he's on the beach somewhere in Margate, too. So, just support people that, you know, have done something, accomplished something that they're proud of and they're happy about. And he was posting about how we inspired him and to live his dream uh, earlier on his Instagram. So, I think the right thing to do would be to hook him up with something and make him feel good about his life and how it's going. Because it's important to feel good about your mission. And be sober after not after almost you know being in a situation where you could be dead is really important and I claim sobriety as a gift for me so I like to see other people get get out of that situation but I'm walking down here right now actually something really funny this building here the very last unit condo had a deck all the way up on the top roof that you can see it and the boards that we used to build up the sides of the trailer were recycled from that deck when they redid it. And we actually lowered all of them down with big ropes, me, T-Word, and Ali, all the way from the top. And I reused those and the ones that I'm actually going to put back on the truck probably tonight. So that's pretty crazy. They were pressure treated previously and I painted them so they, last, they lasted for long. Off what the beach? All right, so here's what we want to do. We're at the house now. We want to do the flea market tomorrow, and we want to do a blowout sale. Show up there early, leave by like 12, so we don't leave the baby for too long. Um, even though she's fine in the house, in the room, she's eating on her own perfectly. She seems 100% healthy, along with having no parasites and being dewormed and everything. So I'm not really worried about her too much, but I would like to just show up tomorrow at the flea, blow out sale, and then just leave. So basically, towels from the beach, we have two options. Option one that I was actually going to do would be to take the trailer, get two spots, spend $50, or option two, which I'm probably gonna do now, pull these off, put walls up on here, get one spot for $25, and then just try and stack everything in just the truck. So that's the, probably what's going down. Um, so basically, I think I'm gonna Looking under there, this is like a luxury truck. It looks like it's gonna be hideous without these things on here. So now I'm looking at just viable other options of maybe, this already has screw holes in it, just maybe putting a, a two by four on here and building up from there, maybe? So basically I think this is the idea. Move this to here, screw them in, and then put two boards across to the front to hold them together so I don't have to take up this plastic piece just in case I want to take them off again later. Yeah. I got you some presents. Okay. Do you want to see them? Yeah, how about your shorts? Do you want these? Yeah, I do. First, our friend Kelly sent all these for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how cool. Look at this guy. This is an awesome decoration for Christmas. Wow. These are totally awesome. Oh my gosh, Ben will love that. <laughs> Remember Ben used to love He's it. He's going to get his tray so you could give that one to him. And a handkerchief. Look, look, look. Purple. <laughs> my color. 
How awesome is this? Hanky life. Total hanky life. How Thank about you. these little dreamers that I got for you, too? Wait a minute. Look at this. This is cool. That's that guy, the mole dude. Really cool. Made in Korea. Career. Here's another one. Oh, they're like a band. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Look at this guy. Little Nomi. Yeah, these are awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. What's going on here? These are for you, too. I got these yesterday. These are for those boxes, too, huh? Cheese. American cheese. Yeah. Those are fire. Cheese product. Nowadays it's cheese product. Probably then it was real cheese, right? I would assume. Tell me two times. Oh, wow. This is a classic right here. Look at this, baby. So you can just put them all in here and throw out that piece. Look at this. Another one. This is like the Santa that was in Florida. Mr. Made in Japan, right? Mr. Good. and Mrs. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is good. Why does it have a knife, a, a nail in it? To like hang it up, I guess. Yeah. We're going to get rid of that. It's weird, right? Maybe. Yeah, I don't want that. Put it in here with the other ones. And I'll throw them and out. another Santi. Thank you. Well, I can keep them separated because then I'm going to wipe them off. These are cool, huh? I like this Pretty one. Pretty nice. Best. This guy's awesome. I wonder if he stands up. Oh, shit. Probably not. Hmm. Really cool. Thank you. And she got something for Dad, too, but I don't know what it is, so he'll, he'll open it. I love it. All right, I saved you guys the boring uh, part, but here it is. I put the walls back up well, on this truck for the first time. I'm going to have to cut this little sliver off, but this allows for maximum packing. Well, not maximum. You could probably do them four feet high if you really wanted to. But this doubles the capacity without tarping or anything. So you can double stack totes, like totes like this size, double stacked and then some. So this kind of changes the game for the flea. All right, I forgot to show you guys. What we scored today, which I found to be a really, really good score. It doesn't really matter if it gets on here because basically all the shirts need to be washed anyway. But we scored this vintage, made in the USA, Chicago Bulls shirt, sweatshirt. This thing is from 1983. I'm not sure about the, the exclusivity of this, like uh, if it was like authorized merchandise or bootleg or what, but it is a nice design. We got two of these extra large Kathy's Clowns t-shirts, Atlantic City, well wait a second. This one doesn't say Atlantic City, but this one does. How crazy is that? Straight fire, though. Those, and we got this little dreamer here. Like Gilla says, go ape, party naked, size small. It does have a little bit of like dirt up on the top literally just from sitting the design itself is basically in perfect condition this is one of the coolest t-shirts i've ever scored from anywhere and then i grabbed this taurus little sweatshirt vintage cream tees and this one's from 1987. This one might need a little work to get it back to its original beauty, but that's what we got. Some goodies. So I was stoked. All these for 20 bucks. Serious come up, if you ask me. Stoking. I should have done this when it was actually empty, but partially empty truck. There it is. 
almost filled. Still got some more stuff to put in, but. Ooh, uh oh. Is this gonna work? Yeah. Locked and loaded for the flay. It's hard to do, even for me. But try and keep a positive attitude about it, about everything. So, let's do it. Flea market tomorrow, going down, blowout sale. Gonna sell everything for dirt cheap because we gotta move this stuff to make room for more. Um, been hindering, I know I say this all the time, but because we do sell a lot, but it's been hindering us in taking more stuff by not selling a lot. Like, need to be turning it over all the time. Also, these sparkling waters are really good. I drink them all the time. Dream continues.